Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. And welcome back here live in Las Vegas on theCUBE at Dell EMC 2017. We are live from the Venetian, continuing our day one coverage here of the show along with Keith Townsend. I'm John Walls, you have a good lunch? I'm uh, ripping and ready to go, John. Excellent, excellent. It's all about data protection right now, and with us to talk about that is Beth Phelan, who's the president of the Data Protection Division at uh, Dell EMC. Hi, John. Uh, thanks Thank for you. being with us. Yeah. And Jim Clancy, the SVP of Sales and Data Protection as well. Jim, good to see thanks you. Thanks for having us, guys. All right, so big, big news for you today. Uh, led off with a couple of key announcements. Beth, take us through those. Uh, what was the news that you're making from the stage? Yeah, absolutely. Two big announcements today. Uh, first is the Integrated Data Protection Appliance which is an end-to-end -end appliance that gives you box to backup in less than three hours. All the customers are looking for simplicity, but they still need the fantastic dedupe up to 55 to one, the performance, the scale that they get with our data protection suite, our data protection portfolio. So now we're bringing it to them as an integrated appliance. Couldn't be happy about it. Great, so big news there, and, and, uh, and announcement we, number two. We had a second one too, which was cloud data protection. Um, with a special focus on cloud disaster recovery, our customers want to leverage the cloud to um, have their DR site in a cloud, a public cloud, or perhaps a, a separate private cloud. And they also want to be able to run data domain in, in the cloud environment. So as of today, you can run data domain virtual edition on AWS or Azure, and soon you'll be able to also run it in VirtuStream. So Jim, put that into practice for me now. Um, if, if, if I'm one of your partners and, and I know that I've got some extra layers or extra opportunities now, what does that mean to me? Well, I, well, first if we start with our partners, I think we've had such an incredible journey together uh, supporting our customers' requirements. Well, those continue to change and, and they struggle with things like the amount of information that, that uh, they need to recover from, they need to back up, they need to store. And uh, for us, we're giving them that next conversation with their customers. So the new challenges are being met by data protection from Dell Technologies. And our partners are going to benefit from that because they are the trusted advisors in, uh, in their accounts and they want to be able to go to and, you know, work with their customers on the new challenges and deliver on it. So Beth and her team have you know, delivered from a technology to allow us to go and capture that mind share with our customers working together with our partners. So Jim, backup appliance, very hot market. A lot of investments and a lot of startups in that market. What differentiates this solution over those competitors? Well, I, first off, um, we're in the position, number one position in this market for a reason, and uh, it really comes down to our technology. So our customers have been pushing on us, saying we need it to be simple, make it simple, make it simple. You know, because then they're running out of time every day on what they can do. So uh, I think we're taking our industry-leading technology and bundling it together as a simple, high-performance solution is, is the first thing. The second thing is the total experience that Dell brings to the marketplace. So um, our customer is always accounting on us that if there ever is a challenge, who's going to be there to help us, right? If I ever need uh, you know, that next application comes online and how am I going to protect it, and who, who can come in and design that, that's what we deliver. So the things that we deliver are the experience versus a point product. And by the way, from a point product, with our new announcement, we're going to be able to take on any competitor in this marketplace but it's the full experience that separates us from, from anybody in this marketplace today, which is why we're number one and we're going to continue that leadership. So Beth mentioned the second announcement, cloud, mm -hmm. which is a huge part of our new hybrid portfolios. What cloud services are we compatible with out the gate with your new solution? What cloud services are we developing right out of the gate? Is yes. that what you said? Uh, so, first of all, if we take a step back, the cloud is really multi-steps for customers to take advantage of it. Um, some customers are extending to the cloud, so they may have a full on-prem data center that they want to leverage the cloud for perhaps long-term retention. That's one thing you can do. Um, the second is a lift and shift when they may choose to move some of their applications to the cloud. And now for that, they can run DDVE with Networker and Cloud Boost and still have that same operations for the data protection that they did on-prem. So the first is extend to the cloud, the second is lift and shift to the cloud, and the third, and something that you'll hear talk us more about, is beginning to refactor their applications to be more cloud native, which is another area that we're very engaged in working on. So for a little lift and shift scenario, one of the things that we're concerned about on the customer side is cost. Yeah. So when we are backing up to the cloud, yeah. doesn't cost much to get it there, but getting it back, 
do you guys help with that scenario? Um, we do, because first of all, all of the data is going to be deduped before it gets sent out to the cloud, so it's a small amount of data that needs to come back. And second, with this most recent announcement, if you're using the cloud DR capabilities, you can bring that application back up in the cloud itself without having to bring the data back. So the data is stored in um, it's stored in object format on the cloud, certainly best value, and then you can actually bring that application up in AWS as an example. So let's talk to from a staff and staff retention perspective, or tr staff training rather, what do my staff have to learn new with these solutions? If anything. It's a great question, because one of the things we pride ourselves on is making them seamless extensions of the products that we already sell, so that you don't have to introduce a brand new product to your environment. Um, you can manage from Avamar or Networker from Data Protection Suite to initiate the long-term retention or the cloud DR. Yeah, so the look and feel is what they're using today. Um, it, what we've done is we just extended the use cases that our customers are coming to us on, saying I need to move data to the cloud, I want to make sure that I can leverage my existing technology and get that done. And that's a big advantage to us, right? Because our customers are comfortable, understand the tools that they leverage today, and if they can just extend it instead of bringing something new in and learning something new, because every one of our customers does not have time to learn new tools, new right. products. The last thing they, well, they, don't, they don't want that. Yeah, yeah the they don't want that. Yeah. Do, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I, and I think what I uh, wanted to add on to what Beth said, um, we've been selling in the cloud for well over a year now, so our customer, this is just another uh, few use cases that we're adding to our customers' requirements. So we have hundreds of petabytes that are being protected in the cloud today, whether it's some of the ones that Beth had mentioned or VirtuStream. Um, so we're already in the cloud, this is just a uh, more thought leadership, this is more of a technology leadership that we're announcing today. So we're extending our leadership as we extend our customers to the cloud. So, yeah. so what are the uh, big picture stuff, and we're talking about people you know, moving more work, you know, they have, you've got all, tons of data, right? We have mm -hmm. so much more. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how's all this coming together in terms of where your sec, uh, section of the business is going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how you're responding to those kinds of trends, mm -hmm. and what do you see coming down the road? Yeah, it's a great question. So one of the things we talk about is people moving away from data centers to centers of data. I mean, when you look at with IoT, with all the distribution of where data is stored or coming from right now, it becomes more and more of a challenge to make sure, A, you know where all of your data is, and B, that it, you're confident that it's protected. So giving uh, capabilities in more and more um, distributed services, giving people the ability to see where all of their data resides and, and the protection state is one thing. Um, I think the term um, data fog has been getting to start coming to the conversation. <laughs> People have been I kind of like that. <laughs> and yeah. and it, it, like it that. makes a point, right? Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's not in one place anymore, it's not a lake. It's, it's all over the place. And think about the challenge for CIOs to have the confidence that it's still protected and that they could get it back. So with all this distributed data, one of the challenges that we have is metadata around that data. Yeah. Knowing what's where, yeah. analytics around that, do you guys help solve that challenge? We do in a few different ways. And one thing in particular is as of um, last year, we have a SaaS offering, um, which is ECDA, Enterprise Copy Data Analytics, and that lets you have a global view around where your data is, and it's it's really um, moving into more machine learning, so it's not just reporting, it's allowing the customer to get smarter and smarter about where his or her data um, is maybe not as protected as it could be, and where they might want to take some actions to increase their, their levels of protection. So, And we're pretty excited about it because we, we've gotten overwhelming response from our uh, partners and our customers that this is where we need to go. Yeah. So, so everything we're talking about has been things that we've been going through with our customers for years saying, okay, we're gonna, we need to get here, we need to get here, and how do you help us get to that path versus you know, doing these um, individual things, right? There's a strategy behind all of this, but it really comes, comes back from our customers and our partners saying this is what we need. We know you're going to get us here, but let's try to get there sooner than later, and I think Beth and team have delivered on that again. So, digital transformation, again, big theme of this show. Mm -hmm. Help us with the big picture. How does this copy data, secondary data market that you guys are helping us with solve or support that digital transformation vision? Yeah, I mean, you know, we heard Michael talk about it on stage today, right? The ability of what we can do having a greater amount of leverage around the data that we all have right now is mind blowing, right? In terms of accelerating um, medical diagnosis, driving more capability around awareness, around risks, and sometimes of um, security. 
there's a level of knowledge that is, we become more adept at mining the data that we have and then leveraging machine learning to analyze it. It's going to give us leaps and bounds of acceleration in whatever business objective we're, we're looking out to achieve. So, if you have to pick a use case you're pr most proud of when it comes to your solution set, give us the best one, like the best story. Uh, I'll let you go first. <laughs> um, I love the new things that we've done with the cloud data protection. Um, giving people the agility to be able to extend um, seamlessly is, is something that they've been asking for, and to have it now and be able to offer it is really fantastic. I, I'd have to agree. Uh -huh. they, you <laughs> know, our customers want data protection everywhere. They don't care where that data sits. They don't want to be handcuffed on where they can actually protect their data or recover from that data. And uh, so they're, they're working really strongly, tightly with us because we are the leader in this market and we just proved it again that we're going to keep up that leadership. So uh, data protection everywhere is important and I think the mm -hmm. cloud extension and leadership is what puts us in that position. We're really excited about that. It's an asset no matter where it is, yeah. right? So you yeah. got to protect it. That's yes. right. A yes. Data fog, though. I think I live my life I in like a data that. fog. <laughs> yeah. right. I like that. That's Beth, cool. thanks yeah. for being with yeah. us. We appreciate the time on the cube yeah. and uh, uh, best of luck Thank through you. the yeah, rest of the show. Yeah, great Yes, if I can meet you over there. Time. All right. Yeah. Great. We'll can continue live here from Las Vegas, where Dell EMC World 2017, and you're watching the cube.